that. I'm sorry. Sorry I woke you up. I just had a little nightmare. You did have yourself a little nightmare. You've been having quite a few of these lately, John. Yeah, you don't have to tell me, Pa. Do you, uh, you want to come downstairs, have something to eat, talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. I can't remember anything. Can't remember anything that you dreamt? No, not a thing. All I know is I have a bad dream, and next thing I know, I wake up scared. You sure you're all right? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Why don't you go on? Go to bed. I'll be all right. Pleasant dreams. On you. you can beat the champ. Come on. Come on, Mitch. He's just a kid. Put him down. Come on. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> All right. Who's next here? Hey, Cartwright. How come you never challenge a champ? What about that, fellas? Yeah, well, why not? Well, look, fellas, I got nothing to prove. You afraid he might take you? Look, I'm not asking for any arguments. Look, I'll be back next Friday, you hear? I'll take on all comers. Except your pal Cartwright, huh? I said I'm not asking for any arguments, but I'm not running away from one either. Now, don't forget you boys. You practice real hard. Bring plenty of money next Friday, huh? Come on, Joe. Come on, I'll buy you all a beer. Friday. All right. Hey, what about that Ken fella, Joe? He was trying to stir up a little trouble between you and me, wasn't he? I'm sorry about that. I'll forget it. There's nothing to be sorry for. Like I said, we got nothing to prove between us. Yeah. Besides, you're unbeatable, champ. Absolutely unbeatable. <laughs> yeah? Hey, but don't let it go to your head. You're glad we get a little top heavy. <laughs> hey! hey, Mitch, look. Well, that puma was feeding on your sheep herd last week, Joe. Let's get it.
Ah, uh, we better forget about him for now, Joe. Nothing doing. Well, he's liable to be in a brush waiting to jump on you. Yeah, I just hope he is. That way I can spot him. Right up there at Eagle's Nest. That's a pretty rough climb, Joe. Well, I want that cat. took a shot at him. I missed him, Joe, but you're going to have a clear shot at him. He's coming right underneath you, Joe. He's coming your way, Joe. You want to have a clear shot at him. Heads up now. Right underneath you. To your right. Joe, there he goes. Ran on through, went over Clements Ridge. How come you didn't take a shot at him? Because I dropped my gun. Well, all right, let's go back up and get it. Oh, forget it. 
It's a long climb. I'll get it tomorrow. What do you mean, Joe? Forget it. It's an expensive rifle. Come on. It's my rifle. I said forget it. All right. All right, whatever you say, Joe. I'll see you Friday. your brother Joseph. Oh, Pa, you know, Joe, sleeping is his favorite pastime. Yeah. He got all that work to do with the lumpus loose. You better wake him up. That's quite a chore. It's like wrestling with an angry old bear. I know. Just go wake him up. Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Pa. Same to you, big brother Hoss. Boy, weather's clear, sunny, like they say, top of the day. Sky is clear, sun shining. I slept like a lamb and I'm hungry as a bear. Pass me some of those eggs. Well, what's up? You. Me? Yeah, what's well, all this cheer and bright and shiny before your breakfast coffee? Is, is this the new you? Well, don't try to strain your brain figuring me out. Just uh, take care of the inner man. But first, let me have some eggs. Nice. Hey, where's the, uh, where's the plate with the Ponderosa this morning? If you're referring to your brother Adam, he left on time. Oh. Yeah, the railhead, I forgot, I'm sorry. Well, I'll go out and get that wagon all rigged up, and I'll see you at the bar. Hmm? Like that, sir. Hey, Pa? What happened to that stallion Harry Dixon had on the market? Met Harry in town yesterday. I made the deal. That's gonna be some fun, training that one. I bet you the horse traded the pants off him. Oh, it's an untried animal, you never know. Oh, come on, when it comes to horse flesh, by you know. Well, you can never tell an animal by how he looks or his manners. It's just like people. Well, he's a good pa. Hey, hey, Joe, come on, wake up. Put a little steam on it, will you? We'll put on a little steam. All right, we'll put on some steam. Ah, come on! Come on, let's go! I'm scared, are you, big brother? What are you trying to prove? What a big daredevil you are? What's got into you anyhow, Joe? <laughs> Come on, it's like you said, we haven't got all day. No, you don't. Get up. Get up. You'll play another game? Shut up. <laughs> Night, Paul. <laughs> Night, Hoss. I guess I ought to let him win one once in a while. I uh, had a talk with Mitch Devlin today. Oh, did he come over here? No, I stopped in at the Devlin place on the way back to town. 
Uh, what's he got to say? No, oh, he's talking about what happened yesterday. Well, why should he talk about it? He doesn't know anything. Well, he could see how upset you were about losing that Puma and your rifle. Did your best, no need to be so upset about a thing like that. Is that all he had to say? Hmm? Yeah. Why, is there something else he should have said? <laughs> no. Uh -uh. I think I'll turn in. Joe? Wasn't that your favorite rifle? Yeah, I'll, I'll get it, Pa. Don't worry about it. Good night. Good night, son. How long you been here? Just got here. Paul sent me after you. What are you doing up here anyhow? Nothing. Well, that's telling me a lot. Thanks. Well, what do you have to know? Everything? Look, Joe, you disappeared. They sent me after you. I asked you a simple question, and you jumped down my throat. All right, all right. I'm... I'm tracking a puma. What's Paul want? I don't know. He just told me to bring you back in a hurry. Well, he expects me to find that puma if they won't leave me alone. Funny way to be tracking a cat. Yeah, what's so funny about it? You ain't got a rifle. See me? Sure do. What about? <laughs> this. Of course, I traded Harry Dixon for. Yeah. Dynamite on four fuses. It's all saddled up and ready to go. And you got your work cut out for you, little Joe. Oh, I wanted him to be a surprise for you, Joe. Afraid I'm surprised. Be pleased. Oh, I'm pleased. I'd have, I'd have figured you'd want to jump right up there and start working him. Look, it's got nothing to do with not wanting to jump up there and start working him. I'm halfway up a mountain trying to get a rifle, he tells me to come back and look at a horse. Did you get it? No, I didn't get it. He said you wanted to see me about something important. All right, cool off now, cool off. Go on and get it. Horse, you try out this horse. Well, ain't as good as this little Joe is, but ain't as scared of him either. It's for dang sure he ain't afraid of me. Easy boy. Easy boy. Easy. Say I'm afraid. I didn't say that. He 
get down off there, because you're right. You're not as good at this as I am. Well, you want that horse educated right, you better let me up on it. How come just a minute ago you wasn't interested in educating him? Maybe I don't want to see you run a good horse. And don't you think I'm ever afraid? You're welcome to him, little brother. snarling at you. All right, let me have it. Quit raking him, Joe! You'll live a lot longer! just like spitting in the eye of a tornado. Is he crazy? No. Who's he showing off for, anyhow? Maybe himself. Well, I ain't gotta watch it. Up with the horse, too. Now cut it out. Paul, why can't you leave me alone and just let me do things my own way? Just let me do things my own way. Hi, Joe. Hey, Mr. Cartwright. What's doing, old friend? How's it going? Busy. Oh? <laughs> Say, Joe, that's a real nice looking hunk of horse flesh you Look, got. I over said there. I'm busy. All right, so you finish what you're doing. It's all right, I'll wait for you. For what? I have a little talk, that's all. All about me? Matter of fact, yeah. Probably the same kind of talk you had with my pa yesterday, huh? Huh? Why don't you mind your own business, Mitch? Come on, Joe, what's eating you, huh? Look, what's going on here? I just come by to give you a message, that's all. I don't all. want to hear any news from you. And you keep your mouth shut if you know what's good for you. This is silly. What do I have to climb it for? I got nothing to prove. Just a mountain. What am I trying to prove? I 
I can shoot it down. I don't have to climb it. What do I have to climb it for? Come on, Joe. Take your time. Come on, hit it. Shoot it down. What, are you waiting up for me, Pa? No. Look, I'm a big boy now. Yes, of course you are, but it is kind of late. Tell me, you have a real nice talk with Mitch today? Mitch came over to tell you. I don't care what Mitch came over to tell me. It's a lie. I came over to tell you that Hank Kittredge had shot that puma. All right, fine, then it's settled. What's settled? The whole thing is settled. The puma, everything else, it's settled. What about the rifle? Did you get that? No, I haven't found the gun. I haven't had the time. Joe, what else is bothering you? Come on, Pa, please, don't be a mind reader. There's absolutely nothing bothering me. I don't have to be much of a mind reader to know that something is gnawing away at you. Son, we've been able to talk things out before. Pa, we have nothing to talk about. Joseph. Look, Pa, there are some things that a man has to settle by himself if he's ever going to call himself a man. I told you, you got to practice, else how are you gonna beat the champ? Huh? Why don't you shut up? Look, you, I put my money here where my mouth is. Now, how about you, huh? Uh... <laughs> All right, who's next here? Come on, let's go get a drink. What's the matter, boys? Yeah. No takers here? You gentlemen don't want fame or fortune? Yeah. Fellas! Oh. Hey, old buddy, good to see you. Come on over here, look, I'm getting fat here today. Yes, sir, Joe. I'm glad you stopped by. Come on, Bart. Come on. Next. Hey. Hey, did I hear you right, little Joe? You say he was next? Yeah, that's what he said, boys. We all heard him, right? Right, right, right. right. Hey, he's even got his money up. Come on, little Joe. Is there anything wrong with my money? His money looks good to us, don't it, boys? Right. What's the matter? You afraid to give him a chance, champ? Listen, Joe. I said next. Hey, a little less conversation, more action. Come on, get going. Now, you stay out of this, you hear? You keep your mouth shut. Like you said, let's get going. Yeah, champ. Put up or shut up.
Next time we'll all take him, and I'll go first. Hey, Mitch. Leave me alone, Joe. Look, I just want to try to explain. There's nothing to explain. We were friends. But for years, we said there was never anything we would have to prove to each other. Joe, what made today different? I don't know. I don't know. I just... I just needed something today, that's all. You needed something? But what about me, Joe? Joe, you know what that championship meant to me? I mean, it made me different. It... It made me bigger than anybody else around here. It gave me something. It, it gave me dignity. It gave me self-respect. Nobody could ever take it away from me, Joe. Nobody except my very best friend. Look, Mitch, I... I just wanted to say that I'm sorry. Joe, it doesn't help. It just doesn't help at all. Yet, Pa. I was trying to get an early start. I was going to leave you a note. Oh. Note saying what? I was just going to go up on the railhead for a couple of days. Not saying where, not why. No special reason, just help Adam. Seems to me that Adam has more than enough hands to help him. I just want to get away for a few days, Pa. Let me go. Mm -hmm. Why the railhead? Why not St. Louis? Or uh, New York? Africa? Why not to the very ends of the earth itself? Or wouldn't that be far enough either? I have nothing to talk about. Talk. All you do is avoid talk, Joe. Pa, it's my problem. Just let me handle it my own way. I've been trying to do just that. And what is your problem? I don't know. You've been ripping yourself apart for a week now. Your bed hasn't been slept in. You've been having nightmares. You hurt your best friend. You've been like Mercury with your brother horse first up and then down. You've been deliberately avoiding me. Now you're running off and you say you don't know what your problem is. That's right. Joseph. Is it that you don't know what it is? Or that you don't want to face it? Who are you talking to, Paul? Your brother Joe. Joe up this early? I know there's something wrong with him. Oz? Yes, sir. What do you think is wrong with him? Gosh, I don't know, Paul. He, 
He sure been a caution these past few days, though. You know, he dang near killed us both racing that wagon up by Eagle Nest the other day, and then, then yesterday when you sent me out looking for him, and I found him back up there by Eagle's Nest, but he like to bit my head off. Eagle's Nest? What was he doing up there? I don't know. He's just standing there looking up at it. Said he was after a puma. Rifle up there. You got something figured? I don't know. Hope I'm not too late. Oh, you want me to come along? No. I think I'd better handle this myself. Joseph? Joseph? Joe, listen to me. Listen to me. Pa, leave me alone. Joe? Joe? Listen to me good. Back down real slow and easy. <laughs> right down here below you. <sighs> I can't. Joe, you gotta try. Bob, please, I can't. Why, Joe? I'm afraid, Bob. I'm a grown man and I'm afraid and I don't know why. There's nothing to be afraid of. I know that. I'm not a kid anymore, Pa, but why am I acting like what? Do you know how many times I've come back to this mountain just to get my rifle? How many times I've stood in front of it and cried because I'm afraid. And I just don't know why. Joe. Joe, listen to me. When you were about five years old, just a little kid, you ran off one day and had a, had a whole bunch of people looking for you. And we combed this whole area. And I came up upon you late that night 
Right up here at Eagle's Nest. I carried you down in my arms. Pa, I'm not five years old anymore. Uh, Joe, the human mind is a, well, it's a funny thing. You know, man has his little fears, and he gets stored up in his mind, and, and there's no point in him being afraid of anything. Especially now, Joe, when, when I think maybe you know why you might be afraid. Maybe that makes sense to you, Pa, but it doesn't make any sense to me. I know what I have to do, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it by myself. Now, please go home, because I'm going to do it by myself. I'm going to... Why? Oh, why can't I do it? Joe? I'm coming up to the top of Eagle's Nest alongside you. <laughs> but I know you want to help me, but you're only making it worse. I'm coming up alongside you, Joe. Please go home, Pa. I know I can do it. Joe, help me! Joe, help me! Joe, help me! Help me, Joe! Help, me, Joe. help Joe! Pa! Pa, hold on, I'm coming! You won't be able to reach me here. You gotta get a long stick. The rifle, Joe! That'll do it, get the rifle! Get the rifle, Joe! Hold on, Pa! I'm coming. Good boy, Joe. Good boy. Pa, I'm coming. I'm coming, Pa. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. Good thing this rifle was up there. You really didn't need me to help you, did you? You ready to go home now? I am ready to go home. Cartwright, how come you never challenged a champ? What about that, fellas? Yeah, well, why not? Well, look, fellas, I got nothing to prove. You afraid he might take you? Look, I'm not asking for any arguments. Look, I'll be back next Friday, you hear? I'll take on all comers. 
Except your pal Cartwright, huh? I said I'm not asking for any arguments, but I'm not running away from one either. Now, don't forget you boys, you practice real hard and bring plenty of money next Friday, huh? Come on, Joe. Come on, I'll buy you all a beer. Friday. All right. Hey, what about that Ken fella, Joe? He was trying to stir up a little trouble between you and me, wasn't he? I'm sorry about that. I'll forget it. There's nothing to be sorry for. Like I said, we got nothing to prove between us. Yeah. Besides, you're unbeatable, champ. Absolutely unbeatable. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, but don't let it go to your head. You're glad we get a little top heavy. <laughs> Just a kid, put him down. Come on. Beautiful. All right. Who's next here? Hey, all I know is I have a bad dream, and next thing I know, I wake up scared. You sure you're all right? <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. Why don't you go on? Go to bed. I'll be all right. Pleasant dreams.
Yeah, Pa, I'm all right. I'm sorry. Sorry I woke you up. I just had a little nightmare. You did have yourself a little nightmare. You've been having quite a few of these lately, John. Yeah, you don't have to tell me, Pa. Do you, uh, you want to come downstairs, have something to eat, talk about it? There's nothing to talk about. I can't remember anything. Can't remember anything that you dreamt? No, not a thing.